What's good, BitRushers? My name's Kyler, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video is another weekly edition of news and NFT updates. If you guys want, go ahead and pound that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not already. You can find links in the description below for everything in today's video and my social media. And here we go. Just a real quick reminder to follow me on Twitter at D5Brains with the Z. We are growing quickly and I'd love to have you guys as a follower. Okay, getting into the news, we're going to start out today with an article about the New York mayor who wants crypto taught in schools. So while this isn't specifically a NFT related news, um, we can, you know, just kind of assume that if they're going to start teaching crypto, that they'll also start teaching NFTs in art class. So that's pretty cool. Um, if they're going to start teaching people, hopefully programming and more about crypto and finances. And then obviously, like I said, if, you know, that goes that way, then they'll get into NFT for art class. So that's really cool to see kids will now be learning about crypto or at least they're proposing that they will be. We have Sport Icon launches an innovative NFT platform that connects fans with exclusive athlete content. This one's actually going to be an IDO and the token is called Icon. I may need to go back and do another video and just look a little bit more deeply at this. But basically they're going to be kind of doing like a um, documentary series style um, following athletes around and filming like important moments and certain things like that and you'll have access to exclusive content and then you'll also be able to mint exclusive nfts um, get actual real life uh, memorabilia for holding some of these things and different things related to um, just exclusive content related to these sports athletes that are involved in this project so pretty cool to see that um, you know, anything that's promoting NFTs and getting mainstream athletes involved and bringing in mainstream viewers and fans of these athletes is good for the space. Again, guys, we're super early here, so um, getting into crypto and NFTs will be big long term if you are an investor, not financial advice, but the more good news we see like this, the better. Okay, and we have here uh, Oliver Tambu's secret spy pen gun to be auctioned as an NFT. I apologize, this website is like super spammy um, with all these ads and everything. But anyway, um, here it is. Uh, you know, you see the the gun right there. It looks like a little pen, but it actually shoots probably a 22, maybe a hollow tip there. And then um, I'm not sure exactly who this. It was some president. Um, don't know who this guy is, no offense, um, just not really into politics or news that much. So anyway, this guy is some guy that was a spy. He's got this pen, and if you buy it, it's an NFT, so you're buying the NFT, and it gives you ownership of this pen. Um, the one thing is, though, the pen is going to remain in the museum. So even if you purchase the NFT and you own it, you'll get access to it in the museum, but it will remain in the museum. Either way, it's cool to kind of see these type of things being auctioned off as an NFT and not just a regular item. Um, then it can be bought and sold in the future on the marketplace, you know, freely and openly. So that's really good to see. Next, we have Crypto Dragons Creates History, 35 ETH worth of an NFT legendary egg. So they sold out in basically a few minutes, which, you know, isn't that unusual. A lot of crypto projects nowadays, especially NFT projects, are selling out rather quickly. However, what the big news is they sold one egg for 35 ETH, guys. That is absolutely amazing. Um, that's a ton of money for an egg. And I'm not even sure what this project was. So um, when I saw this, I was like, wow, that's pretty amazing. I'm going to actually have to go back and maybe do an in-depth review of this project as well. So possibly look for a future video on the Crypto Dragons. I didn't have much information on them other than they just launched. They sold 500 NFT eggs and they sold out super fast. Um, again, that one legendary egg did go uh, for 35 ETH, which is absolutely insane. But yeah, people like games, um, especially Ethereum dragons are cool. So here's what the game website looks like. Again, I may go in and do a further review on this just because it seems to be popping off. Um, but yeah, here's what it is. If you guys want to come over here to CryptoDragons.com and find out a little bit more about it. And finally, to round out the news, guys, we have the world's first true fractional NFT real estate platform launches on Polygon. 
again this is going to be its own coin and its own project future so i may have to do another video on this one there's so much content nowadays guys i honestly can't even keep up by myself so i am hopefully bringing on um, some help here soon um, but yeah so this is on polygon and you're basically going to be able to buy a piece of some sort of real estate they're, they're also looking to add luxury cars and boats so like yachts and sports cars and things like that where you can own a piece of it as an investment just like you would a stock essentially so that's really cool um, good to see again another fractionalized uh, nft project here so that's cool it's like reverse nfts because because they are fungible um, but yeah another good project here that looks to be launching something innovative and it is on polygon so it will have those low gas fees again guys hopefully we'll do another video on this one all right guys so before we get into the upcoming nft projects i just want to say that in general it seems like there's more and more nfts every single day um you know the market is just becoming more and more crowded more people are getting in and it's harder and harder to differentiate what the good projects are However, I do just want to mention that you should always be doing your own research and your own due diligence because not every project is going to be a board Ape Yacht Club. Not every project is going to hold its value long term. Make sure you research the teams and the artists behind these projects and make sure you want to hold them long term if you are investing or if you're looking for quick flips that you think there'll be a market available. So first up here we have Fish Tank and this is fish-tank.io. These are some really great artwork fish here and this project is actually going to be giving back to um, ocean life and to the ocean reefs and things like that. So it's not just another project. They're actually planning on doing cool stuff with this and by holding one you'll be supporting, you know, giving back to the ocean life and clean up pollution. Coming down, we can see uh, Gregory Hendricks has collaborated his signature fish character with different artists and developers using computer generation to create 1,111 unique fishes using an ERC-721 contract living on the Ethereum blockchain. So again, guys, this is a low number. That's a good sign. The art all looks amazing here, and it just says, we need to wake up now and protect our marine life. Start restoring the reefs that have already been destroyed and clean up our oceans. Fish Tank allows you to keep a virtual fish as a personal pet and join a community that supports projects, organizations striving to save the ocean. Take action and be part of it. So again, guys, that's why I wanted to cover this one is low number, great artwork, great cause. Um, these are the type of projects I want to help support and help promote on the channel. So I'll probably be minting one of these myself and with the low number, just holding on to it for a while and doing a long-term play. Next, we have uh, Chibi Galaxy. So this is from the same uh, team as the Chibi Labs. They had those other Chibo guys, and um, now they're doing ones for the metaverse. So Chibi Galaxy is a collection of 7,000 interstellar uh, characters with traits inspired by our galaxy's most powerful features. A new Chibi species will be launching on 11.11 with the mint price of 0.08 Ethereum, exclusively discounted pre-sale for existing collectors at a price of 0.06. So again, this earlier project, the Chibi Apes did really well and they held a high floor price. So just assuming that the same team is going to deliver again, that these Chibi Galaxy will be um, also a good project and hopefully hold a high floor price. So if you guys are interested in getting in this one, um, you may be able to get pre-sale, I believe, if you own one of the other apes. So hop in Discord chat and figure that out. And for our final project of the day, guys, I have Hate Beast. This one is 8,000 next generation high fashion apes. So this is a really high-end project that's being done by game developers. And I think they have like some ties to fashion, as we can see here. Um, if we come down, the video is just really cool. The guy um, has got all kinds of like, you know, fashion show stuff, different backpacks and hats and uh, glasses. And uh, they're moving around and dancing. 
this will probably be a, another really big project. They're launching sometime in December, so I just want to put this out there for you guys if you want to try to hop in on the whitelist. Um, I don't know, how, you know if it's still going or whatever, uh, but I always like to get these out to you guys as early as possible, let you know what's going on. Um, definitely going to be a big project here with a really great team. So URL on this one is hatebeast.com. Coming over to my wallet, we can see we're starting to get a lot of drops from the metaverse. Um, these ones right here are from Skullpunks, but I'm also getting Farmer's Marketverse. I'm getting Penguin Flight Club. I got some Cannabis Crypto Club gear. So a lot of different um, like gear from the metaverse is starting to get dropped to holders. So that's a really good sign that you know projects are entering into the metaverse just across the board as a whole. And we can see some of my um, nice artwork here from the Pumpkins Project and a few of my Playboy Bunny Rabbitars that recently launched and my mods. So let's look at those real quick. Um, I missed you guys last week. I'm sorry, it was Halloween and I was drinking a little bit on Halloween and just wasn't feeling it the next day to make a video. But my mods did reveal, so you guys can see him here. He's got the cool watch. He's got like the flower shirt, this little mask and the sunglasses, um, nice hat. So I like that guy, he's chilling here. Probably planning on keeping this guy for a while. Um, like I said, most of the projects I've been buying lately are long-term holds. I'm not really looking to do too much flips right now because the market isn't great across NFTs in general. So that's why I'm bringing you projects, guys, that I plan on holding for a while, just keeping in my wallet as a collector. Again, the Playboy Bunny Rabbitars did reveal. Ooh, that's a cool one with the background. I hadn't seen that one before. Um, so you guys can come over here and check these out. These are um, starting to go for a little bit lower floor value. Let's see on the buy now. Yeah, it looks like the floor value has dropped below a quarter ETH. It was right about a quarter ETH before reveal. So now you can get some of the ones with a little bit less rare traits for under that 0.2 ETH range here. Um, I think this is going to be a long hold project. Playboy is a really great brand. A lot of celebrities and athletes and things like that tend to, um, you know, be involved with this brand. Obviously, a lot of beautiful women. And uh, yeah, so... I think that this will be a long-term good play to hold. I have a few of these in my wallet, and you guys can see there, a couple of these. Um, that guy's probably my favorite right here. He's smoking the joint. He's got the microphone, the hoodie, and the blue hat. That's about as close to me as you can get, right? Uh, I got the mic here doing that. Blue hat, the black hoodie, so really like that one there. Uh, maybe become my avatar here in the future. Following up on Art Wars, I wasn't able to mint one of these, as I mentioned in the last you know video where I talked about this, being at such a low number, these things sold out in an instant. They were going for about 2.2 Ethereum right after mint, so it's good to see the prices dropping a little bit here. Um, not much, but you know about a quarter ETH down from that. If you are looking to get in before reveal, um, you know, you can still get one now at that price. I'm thinking I'm going to hold off guys and possibly if they drop into like the one ETH range, cause he's minted at 0.6. So still, you know, that's almost double mint than that. I might just wait till after mint until reveal. And maybe some people will dump some that they don't like or whatever. We'll see if we can swoop on the floor. But I think right now at 2.2 or even at 1.9 is a little bit more than I would like to pay. Um, you know, either way, guys, if you're interested in Star Wars, you guys can come on over here and pick one of these up. I don't see them dropping too much in value, but again, if they do, I'll probably swoop on one. Next, uh, another collector piece that I picked up this week is one of these Orthogon um, number 697, and I picked up two or three of these. I think two of them, actually. I think one of the transactions didn't go through, but basically these were on sale for... Um, 0.07 and I decided to just swoop on them a couple from this set. I kind of liked what they were doing They are in the art blocks factory Okay, so if you guys aren't familiar with art blocks curated and art blocks factory Art blocks curated are the ones that are hand selected from the art blocks team to be in their main collection However, if you want to use their software and create artwork before getting curated You can and you can create things in their art blocks factory so the Art Blocks Factory does have a lot of high value um, pieces, things that are holding higher values. 
And they also have some newer ones that launch that are a lot cheaper and don't really have a super high value. So it is kind of a speculative play to get in on that space and maybe pick a couple um, things up within different collections and kind of hope that they do raise in value later because they are related to art blocks. Again, you know, it's pure speculation, but if you like the artwork, then why not pick some stuff up and support some great artists in the art blocks factory collection? So just coming over there, I want to show you guys how that works. It's very different than other collections because they have a whole bunch of different collections within the one collection, right? So if you come to Art Blocks Factory, you're going to have everything, um, all the collections within there. And so the way that you need to be able to sort is to find the name of the one you want. Like this one is Mecha Suits. You could type that in and it will filter by only Mecha Suits or... They also have on the side, each one of these um, things on the side is one of their collections, okay? So if we just come down, let's just pick a random one. Let's just do um, brush pops right there. If we um, click the down arrow, we can go all brush pops. Okay, so now we can see that it's filtered out only all the brush pops, all right? So if you're searching here within Art Factory, that's just one of the ways you need to do it, just so you can see everything within those collections within the collection. And I actually hadn't looked at these before either. These are actually really nice. Also, I kind of like a few of these. Maybe I'll come back and swoop on some of these as well. It looks like these are only at point one. So this is kind of just something I'm looking to do as a play here, as a collector. Someone that's into artwork, digital artwork, is coming into the Art Blocks factory and just swooping on a few pieces from a few different collections as they launch and holding them long term. I'm talking, you know, three, five, ten years, guys. Um, these aren't something I'm looking to just flip from 0.01 to 0.02. That doesn't really excite me. Um, I want to hold these things and hopefully in the future, you know, maybe they'll be worth 510 ETH. Finally, let's round off today's video with the Crypto Pumpkin Patch, which is my project, guys. Um, we are over with Chapter 1 with Halloween. However, we do still have several airdrops scheduled and Chapter 2 coming soon. I can't um, give you guys too much on Chapter 2, but I will tell you that the game, the launcher game, the Pumpkin Launcher, will be ready sometime in December, okay? I just don't want to give away too much and, you know, I'd rather under promise over deliver. But basically the reason why I'm not swooping on the floor on these pumpkins is I'm letting you guys come here and swoop some up for cheap. So um, we minted at 0.066. And so this is one sixth the price to pick one of these up right now, guys. Um, I'm not going to leave them on the floor for too long here. I'll probably sweep the floor here in another month or so right before we launch the game so that way i'll reward people for holding long term but if you guys want right now it is a good time to come in and pick one up we also have the remainder of the um, comic book pages coming from the rough draft on that and when that finishes up we're going to work on editing it together as a team in the discord chat and then we're going to make the finalized version Lots of good pumpkins here on the floor. So if you guys want to be part of my project and put, which will give you access to my future project that I'm launching here in December with the launcher. So definitely come on over here and pick one up. If you guys want to support me, my channel and my crypto pumpkins project. That's everything for today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying this content. Please do smash the thumbs up. Leave a comment on today's video. Let me know what other news I've missed or what other kinds of information and projects you'd like to see me cover. If you haven't already, sub to the channel, happy crypto, and let's keep getting those coins.